welcome to CTC News, where I will be looking at some of the latest, greatest, and not so greatest news around the ends of Manchester United. So let's look into today's first story. Manchester United fans gathered outside of the ticketing offices at Old Trafford to protest against the Glazer ownership amid news of Sir Jim Ratcliffe's plans to purchase a 25% stake of the club while allowing the disliked owners of 18 years to remain until 2026. This protest was organised by fan group The 1958 as they continue to question the integrity or lack thereof when it comes to Abram and Joel Glazer's manipulation of match-going supporters. Man United's women's side were involved in an eventful 2-2 draw in their first WSL home game of the season. Leah Galton capitalised on a mistake by Arsenal goalkeeper Sabrina D'Angelo to level the game at one apiece after 27 minutes. And late in the second half, debutante and French international Melvin Mallard gave the Red Devils a lead that unfortunately didn't win the game due to a spectacular equaliser from Chloe Lacasse. Mark Skinner's side now head into an important Champions League qualifying game on Tuesday against Paris Saint-Germain, with the first leg being at home. The return fixture takes place on the 18th of this month, and in between, MESC will be facing last season's 10th place side in Leicester City on Sunday. And now, a light CTC injury report. Lissandro Martinez remains out with a reoccurrence of his metatarsal injury first suffered in April of this year against Sevilla. It was confirmed by manager Eric Ten Hag that the Argentinian centre-back was due to undergo surgery which could keep him out until December. Adam Wan-Bissaka sustained a hamstring injury against Brighton on the 16th of September that has already kept him out for almost a month. No update on him just yet. Left backs, Luke Shaw, Terrell Malasia and Sergio Reguillon all remain out injured. Shaw has been out now since mid to late August with a muscle injury. Malasia has yet to feature at all this campaign and Loni Reguillon seems to be suffering from a hamstring injury but may return after the international break. Other absentees include Kobe Mainu, who has started training again recently, Ahmad Diallo, who sustained a knee injury in pre-season, Rafael Varane was not included in the squad against Brentford, but his issue was reported as minor. We will see. Victor Lindelof was also seen going straight down the tunnel after being substituted in United's 2-1 victory on Saturday. No news about that just yet. So Alex Ferguson's beloved wife, Lady Kathy Ferguson, has died at the age of 84. The sad news was revealed in a Ferguson family statement on October 6th. Lady Kathy and Sir Alex had been married for 57 years, and she reportedly played a pivotal role in him not retiring in 2002. Behind a successful man, there's an even stronger woman, and we here at CM22 ENT would like to send out blessings to the Ferguson family in these tough times.